Hi, my name is Ed Lane. I am the CEO of Game Clients, and I'm going to make a quick video here today to help you better understand the steps involved in uh, scanning a check using our remote earnest money deposit capture solution. So this solution is being provided to you by your title and escrow company, and they are making it available to you to make your life easier in delivering earnest money, whether you're a consumer or a realtor. So let's dive in, shall we? All right, so we switch over here to the app. We'll go ahead and log in. You'd create a new user if you are one. One big button to choose from, so we're going to click here, escrow deposit. Now we're going to enter in the details of the transaction, including the purchase price, realtor information, and the property address. I am going to use my information and then... I'm up here actually outside of Seattle, so I'll use a zip code up this way. And 1234 Happy Street in Bellevue, Washington, 98005, if I could type. So once we click done this is where we would upload the purchase and sale agreement if you had it you could shoot a picture of it if you had it in cloud storage you could upload it by clicking the choose file button or you could skip it all together so we'll go ahead and skip it which takes us to the earnest money deposit piece so we're going to key in the amount of the check and it is important that you put in the proper amount and then we're gonna shoot the front and the back of the check. So I'm gonna just shoot this sample check I have right here. And it's critical that the check be within the dashed line box. We see a lot of failed deposits because checks get cut off, corners get missed. Um, we've even had people hold the check. You need to lay it on a flat surface and you wanna have decent lighting. You don't wanna have it off centered. You don't wanna have it over here. You want it right in the middle, shoot the picture, and then you're gonna click the upload button down here in the bottom right. And right now it's pinging the servers. It's checking the images to make sure they're acceptable, and that is a confirmation. And you can see I got a text message already asking me to consent to the deposit, and I just got an email saying that the deposit had been uh, completed. So I am uh, in the habit of sh shooting a screen grab of this page. Um, you don't necessarily have to because we already got the email, but um, it's not a bad idea just for backup. Here I'll also show you the consent text. So we'll move over here, open that up. You see the link right here in the text message. We're just going to tap on that. That'll take us over to the consent landing page. Once we're here, all we do is click on the consent uh, button and then click consent. And then we get a confirmation and that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. We're here to help should you need it. Please do not hesitate to reach out, okay?